Okay, this is where I've got to modifying a Hona OAB uh, 100 watt amp. So I used to have six speakers which are blown, and that's been replaced by a Leslie that's been salvaged from inside a, a Hammond organ. And so it fits perfectly, just had to remove a tiny bit of wood and make this space up here so that the amplifier will sit in at the top. So I'm just going to go through this briefly. So if you're going to add a Leslie on to an amp, you're going to need uh, just to be aware of a few little things. Um, right, that's just come off, so I've got to solder that back on. Anyway, that's the relay switch. I've um, got a fuse on that coming from uh, this transformer. It's a 240 volt transformer, but it runs different voltages, four different voltages, one of them being 110. So on the primary coil, I've taken the tap off of there to get 110 volts via that fuse to the relay switch. And then that's ran that coil with um, 240 volt down to 12 volt and there's a little diode on there just to stop the back EMF. Um, you're going to need a couple of capacitors, 600 um, volt DC capacitors and they will stop that from sparking and creating a big um, bang on, on your speakers every time you switch from high to low and it will protect the windings of the, the, um, the motors as well. And um, I'll just use the foot switch which comes off there. So I will plug a guitar into it. Uh, once I've soldered that back on and then see how it sounds. So you can hear, hear that effect quite strongly on slow. Once it gets to a slow speed it's not, not that good. So it needs needs some work to baffle the um, background noise coming off of the back of the speaker. Um, so I think it would work better if these were blocked off, so the sound just came out the sides. So I just block these off and tidy up this case, so that chipboard can be glued back together, spray it up, and I'll add some UV lights, possibly. And then let's just tidy it up, get all the wires safe and uh, put the reverb tank back which is up here at the minute. 